The CDA project that is the Center for Drain and Agriculture currently is one of the World Bank's uh, African Centers of Excellence. The reason the university established CDA is to address the challenges facing the dry lands, not only of Nigeria, but of West Africa in particular. The center was established essentially a training center at the postgraduate level. We also carry out research and development activities. So we sit on the tripod of teaching, research and outreach. The Sahelian region of West Africa is becoming drier and drier and the practices uh, of the past uh, of the Sahelian cannot be used to sustain the growing population of this area. That's why the university set up the Center for Dryland Agriculture to carry out research on dryland agriculture to assist farmers to face the challenges so that even with the windling rainfall, uh, there will be increase in the yields and harvest. Here, what basically we do is to bring together different set of data sets and then to be able to manipulate, overlay those data sets and then to see how do we predict, understand the status, nature and the dynamics of the happenings within the dwelling environment and then to make um, policy recommendations. As a student with the center, my work uh, focuses on one of the key elements of dry land. The talk of dry land is soil and water, scarcity of water and then impartile lands. So I'm working on diagnosis of nutrient limitation and imbalances in the Northern Guinea savanna of Nigeria. Quite a number of countries have capacity to actually predict the kind of projected yield you have so that they'll be well armed in terms of repositioning themselves in terms of the prices of commodity. I'm fully knowing the advantage of that. Uh, here at the center, for all the NSC and the PhD programs we have, GIS is compulsory. We are reaching out to a large community and we do several things. Uh, some of them including how to make them get uh, feeds for their animals during the dry season. As you know, this is a, a real issue in dryland and is one of the sources of conflict now in the country, lack of feeds for animals, which leads to pastoralists and farmers having con uh, conflicts all over. There is this time, the animals are okay, as you see them now, after seeing them. But after two months from now, they will suffer. Even the dry one is not available. So if you use the abundance of dry grasses now with agri pie products into form of wafer like this one to be stored using binder. This binder is stashed as binder, it's also only as well as binder to bind it like this one. This contains the mineral requirement, protein requirement, and energy requirements. All requirements for the animals are here. Any kind of ruminant, even camel, sheep, cattle, goat, they are ruminant. <laughs> This is a, a plant tissue culture laboratory. It was established to propagate crops that are very high yielding or that are already improved and then you want to have them in large quantities. We have students right now from our nine countries. We get applications all the time because the program sells itself through the students. They tell others about Kano, about the university and about what we are doing. My study, it will help the society in terms of how they are going to manage their own resources. I want to improve the productivity and the efficiency of sorghum and maize. This is a, a good challenge for all Mali and all country in Africa. We have acquired skills in which uh, we only read in books. We have acquired skills of improving our teaching. We have had access to trainings. You know that we never thought that we will have them around in this country. What the students uh, stand to gain by coming here is our programs are new, they are robust, addressing issues of the dry land. I think so far so good. We are on the right track, we are moving towards excellence. The idea is to be a center of excellence. We in Nigeria sometimes we have low expectation of ourselves 
but we can be the best we can be. We can compete with the best in the world. And the center is showing that that is indeed possible, not only in the UK, but in Nigeria.